There is compelling evidence that the law enforcement response to the attack at Robb Elementary was an abject failure and antithetical to everything we've learned over the last two decades since the Columbine massacre. On Tuesday during a Texas Senate hearing, Texas Department of Public Safety Director Stephen McCraw condemned the law enforcement response to the Uvalde school shooting that killed 19 children and two teachers last month. McCraw said the on-site commander, Uvalde Schools Police Chief Pete Arredondo, made terrible decisions that left as many as 19 officers in a hallway outside two classrooms for over an hour until a U.S. Border Patrol-led tactical team finally made entry. The only thing stopping a hallway of dedicated officers from entering room 111 and 112 was the on-scene commander who decided to place the lives of officers before the lives of children. The officers had weapons, the children had none. The officers had body armor, the children had none. The officers had training, the subject had none. One error, 14 minutes and eight seconds. That's how long the children waited and the teachers waited in rooms 111 to be rescued. Many parents and relatives of the school children and staff have expressed deep anger over police actions after the gunman entered Robb Elementary School and began shooting. Police waited to enter the classroom where the shooting occurred while they sought a key, though officials now say the door was in fact unlocked and there is no evidence officers tried to see if it was secured. Earlier this month, Uvalde Schools Police Chief Pete Arredondo said he never considered himself incident commander at the scene of the shooting, and that he did not order police to hold back on breaching the building. 